again on back. And this time with what I'm going to call the Blue Peter edition of Lordy's Reviews. Um, this one's a bit of a project born out of frustration really. Um, I look longingly all the time at some of these top end mods and especially ones that offer something different as a vaping experience to what you can get around the 20-30 quid mark vaping on a budget. Um, but the one thing that it does do is encourage you to be a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more inventive to try and tweak and fine tune and get the best out of, out of what you've got. So the one thing that I've always wanted to get my hands on, well there's two actually, one of them is the KFUN and that's been sort of replicated by the Dream. Um, I think it's wrong to call the Dream a KFUN clone, it's a lot more simplified, there's a lot less to it. Um, but the spheroid on the other hand surprises me because there doesn't look like there's a lot to it and I know there's probably a couple of products on the way from China more than likely that are going to give you that spheroid experience for a lot less cash um, I think it's a real shame you know people spend a lot of time coming up with these ideas and obviously deserve to make quite a bit of money from them you know anyone that invests and gives something back to the community you know they're worth every dime and then some but the reality is that for some people, and I include myself, I just, I just haven't got the funds to shell out 70 to 150 quid for a hybrid or what have you. So, so anyway, I'm babbling on a bit now. Cutting a long story short, I have managed to make a sort of spheroid clone and I've um, got to give credit to Tom, uh, to Todd, should I say, who did something similar a little while back with a bully. Um, but I've basically made my own spheroid out of um, a Dream and a Nova. So, with no further ado, let's get down to the table and I'll show you how to go about it. Okay, as you may have uh, gathered from my previous videos, I'm pretty bad with shaky hands. I'm not normally so bad, um, but for some reason when I've got a camera rolling, I look like an alcoholic with the DTs. So, for those reasons, I'm not going to go into the rigmarole of building a coil and everything on camera. If you're used to using your Dream by now, then you'll know how to coil and wick the thing anyway. So, I'm not going to bother with all of that. So, in terms of what you need, the basics, you need a pair of scissors. You need cerebral, um, or whatever type of filler material you normally use. A bit of wick. I'm personally using 0.23 camphor wire, that gives me a coil of the resistance that I kind of like. So what are the parts that we've got here? Um, this one here is the top part of a Mini Nova, and there you go, my hands are shaking away already. Um, you'll see why we need the top part of the Nova as opposed to the top part of the Dream in good time. Um, I've got the Dream tank here, obviously it doesn't really make any difference if you use your Nova tank. Um, you then need the base part of the Dream. Um, for obvious reasons, well hopefully what will become obvious reasons. Drip tip, you'd be silly without one. And then what I've got here is just the standard replaceable parts out of the EVOD. Now obviously because we're not relying on the wicking coil in this thing you can get rid of that. The other thing as well is you won't be needing um, the positive terminal and you won't be needing the grommet that runs down the middle as well. So there we go, I'm going to get rid of those. Um, and of course you need your pins for, for putting into for putting into the base part of the dream. So where have I put that wick? Everything's going wrong already. <laughs> this is not looking good. Right, let's cut a bit more wick. So this is three mil wick that I'm using, um, and I'm gonna do it in quite a standard way, which is just folding it over, double, and then wrapping probably four wines of canthal against that. So I'm just going to do that and then come back. Here we go then, so I've uh, built my wicking coil, just give it a little test fire. As you can see that's glowing up a treat. Um, the other thing of course is that, as you'll probably know when you're building these things, you want to make sure that the coil isn't touching the bottom plate at all. Now I've done my best here and you'll see why shortly to make sure that that wick is as close as I can possibly get to the bottom without actually touching. So there's only one thing I have left to do here, which is just to uh, give this loop a little snip. Simple. Right, so I can put that to one side for a minute, and you can see hovering around in the background here what the next step is. So this is the 
top of a mini, off, off a Nova. I was about to say Mini Nova, but there's nothing Mini about this one. Um, so you just take that, you take your EVOD that you've removed the wicking coil from earlier, and just push it, and by some happy accident, the top of the EVOD, when you've got it this way around, fits perfectly, nice and snugly, into the Nova top cap. Um, I had to give this a bit of a thwack, actually, to get it to come through as much as possible. Um, right, so moving on to the next phase with no further ado. Um, let's take our freshly built wicks. First thing I'm going to do is just wet them with a bit of e-liquid to stop them from splaying as I'm messing around with them. So I'm not going to bother with test firing, I know that they work. I just want to wet the ends to make sure that it's not going to splay out as I start messing around with it in the tube. Okay, so as you would do with your spheroid or other similars, you just want to push that up into the tank. Then you want to take your top part and screw it on. The one thing that you're trying to do here is make sure that just the same as with the bottom, I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up now that I've got e-liquid over it. Um, what I'm trying to show you is that the EVOD bottom part will literally just miss the top of the coil. Um, you can't really see it on there, but I've got fractions of a mil tolerance, but it does work and it is in there. So I can be confident that that's going to work. Um, so, next stage, which will be familiar to other existing spheroid users, is to take your Sarah wall. Um, don't quite know how big a piece I've got here. I'm probably going to have to trim this down a bit, so I'll tell you approximate size after. But at the moment, I think this is looking at 5 centimetres by 1 centimetre. Um, and you just want to wrap. Give it a bit of a squish. just want to wrap that as you would around the EVOD center. Now I'm guessing we're going to have some excess here and I have so I'm just going to trim this piece off. Okay the other thing you want to make sure of is that you haven't got any of this cerebral covering this up. Not for any kind of health reasons or anything like that but just you've got more of a chance of sucking e-liquid up the tube if that filler material is getting in the way there we go so I've just got it tightly wrapped and as you might expect I'm now just going to push that all back with a bit of a fiddle <sighs> yeah I've definitely still got too much wool here to take a bit more off Of course this will puff out and fill back out once I've got it in there. Okay, it's not going to be pretty, but in the interest of time I'm going to go with it. Or maybe not, it's not going to let me. Okay, you get the idea with this step. I'm going to faff around with this and I'm going to spare you my frustration. I'll be back. I got there eventually. It didn't take me that long at all. Okay, so I've got a little bit popping up over that tube. So I'm just trying to make sure that I've got a clear channel through there. I'm also trying to space out the wall so that A, it's fluffed up and B, it's pretty consistent. There. I'm happy. So, as you might expect, next you want to chuck in some e-liquid. Um, maybe I should have used a syringe so I can measure this, but these are about half a mil or a mil at a time, these dropper bottles. That's one.
that's two. Don't know whether the camera's picking it up, but the good thing about this being a clear tank is you get a good impression of how saturated it is just by looking through the window. Um, am I going to risk any more? I'll try another one. I don't think I'm going to take it any further. I can see that there's still a couple of dry parts in there, but as you saw that was quite a bit of juice that just went in, um, certainly enough to keep you going for a few hours, so I'm going to call it a day at that. Now these don't actually need to be as long as I've made them here, so I'm going to trim just a little bit more off. thought I was going to get e juice spitting up at the lens then. And then as before, just push the tails in, into the top of the tank. The only thing that slightly gets in the way is those threads. And as I screw this together, ah, failed on this side. But so long as you've got a majority of the wick in contact with that filler material, um, you're in business. So I am going to sort out that one wick, uh, might as well finish the job that I've started, and then I'm going to come back and take a bait. Right. Um, I have made just a small adjustment. I noticed that the top of the EVOD was a little bit too close to the coil for my liking. So I've just backed off the threading just a couple of turns. To be honest, if you've got a Dremel or something like that, it's it's pretty easy to sort out if you you know if you're that fussy and you want it screwed down together properly. But to all intents and purposes, this is the spheroid experience on Dream Budget. So here we go. That's some thick clouds of vapour. Flavour wise, I'd say that the flavour is every bit as good as the Dream is when it operates as standard. There's always an ongoing discussion on the boards about whether the spheroid is better than the K-Fern or the K-Fern is better than the spheroid in terms of the vapour puts out and people that own both find it really difficult to tell. Um, what I can tell you though is, having made a couple of these now, um, and vapes on them for hours, I have not been able to get a dry hit at all in any way, shape or form. The other thing as well with this uh, top fed silica whip business is the nicotine, the throat hit that you get is a lot more intense than you get when you've got it running in Dream or Kafer mode or whatever you want to call it. Um, Spheroid performance for KFM money. You can't really say. <laughs> I'll get the hang of this one day. Spheroid performance for Dream Budget. That's pretty good in my book. So there you go. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to have a chat with me, um, I'm on a couple of forums, but you'll find me predominantly at thevaporsden.com. I've advertised it before, and I'll say again, it's one of the friendliest forums I know of. So, um, so come along and have a chat. Cheers. That's it for now. Bye-bye.